class, Teacher Geraldine is back to discuss to you another topic in Computer System Servicing 10 about peer-to-peer -peer network and client and server network. Your learning competency this week is configure the assigned IP address to clients and servers. Here are guide questions for you. What is a peer-to-peer -peer network? What is a client-server network? And how do you set up a peer-to-peer -peer network and client-server network? Let us first define a network. So when we say computer network is a collection of two or more electronic devices connected with each other to share common resources. There are two types of network, the peer-to-peer -peer network and client or server network. So we will discuss first the peer-to-peer -peer network. In a peer-to-peer -peer network, devices are connected directly to each other without any additional networking devices between them. So as you can see, these are all personal computers or computers no other devices each device has equivalent capabilities and responsibilities so they have equal responsibilities and share equal resources individual users are responsible for their own resources and can decide which data and devices to share. It has no central point of control or administration. So again, as you can see, there are no other devices aside from the computer itself. No central point. In a client-server network, the server provides the requested information or service to the client. So we have here our server and the clients or the PCs. So if in a peer-to-peer -peer network there is or there are no devices in between. So in a client server network we have another device which is the hub. Servers commonly perform some of the processing work for client machines, such as sorting through database before delivering specific the records requested by the client so it is the server who is responsible for that the servers are maintained by network administrators however in a peer-to-peer -peer network there is no network administrator since there is no server data backups and security measures are implemented by the network administrator and the network administrator also controls user access to the network resources so that's it so to compare the things that you have learned so always remember that in a peer-to-peer -peer network the devices connected or are connected directly each other without any additional networking devices between them while in a client server network the server provides the requested information or service to the client and for your activities answer activity 1 and 2 on page 4 and reflection on page 5 so once done, send it offline using USB or through messenger or email. That's it for this week class. Goodbye.